The Federal Housing Finance Agency, also known as FHFA, publishes annual conforming loan limits that apply to all conventional mortgage delivered to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Now these do include general and high cost area loan limits and the high cost areas vary by geographic location. So what was just announced guys is that the general loan limit for 2021 has increased and apply to loans delivered to Fannie Mae and Freddie in 2021, even if it originates prior to January 1st of 2021. So in this video I'm gonna cover the updated loan limits and what they mean for potential home buyers. But before we get into the rest of the video if you're enjoying the content so far please do me a favor and tap that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for valuable information every week. All right Jordan so before I hop into more details let me just briefly explain exactly what Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are. So Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are federally backed home mortgage companies created by the United States Congress. Congress. Neither institution originates or services their own mortgages. Instead, they buy and guarantee mortgages issued through lenders and the secondary mortgage market. Both Fannie and Freddie are essential to the U.S. housing market because together these agencies make the mortgage market a lot more liquid, stable, and affordable by providing liquidity and guarantees to thousands of banks, savings and loans, and mortgage companies in the United States. So this week, the Federal Housing Finance Agency announced a new baseline conforming loan limit for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac in 2021, which is $548,250. Now this is a 7.5% increase from 2020's limit of $510,400 and marks the fifth consecutive year in increases from the FHFA. Now in 2016, they increased the Fannie and Freddie conforming loan limits for the first time in 10 years. And since then, the baseline loan limit has gone up by $131,250. Now the conforming loan limits for Fannie Mae and Freddie are determined by the Housing and Economic Recovery Act of 2008, which established the baseline loan limit at $417,000 and mandated that after a period of price declines, the baseline loan limit cannot rise again until home prices return to pre-decline levels. Now, I personally think this was a great decision by the FHFA. This will be especially beneficial in high-priced states and cities such as my state of California. Now, despite the pandemic, California has record-setting home price increases during the past year, and raising maximum conforming loan limits will give tens of thousands of California home buyers a chance at home ownership. So in my opinion, Joe Oz, increasing the existing Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac conforming loan limits will greatly benefit higher priced areas and provide stability and certainty to the housing market. What's most important to understand about this announcement guys and why it's important is that the conforming loan limit determines the maximum size of a mortgage that government sponsored enterprises Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac can buy or guarantee. Now non-conforming or jumbo loans typically have tighter underwriting standards and sometimes carry higher mortgage interest rates than conforming loans which increase monthly payments and it hampers the ability of families in higher priced areas such as California to purchase home by making them less affordable. Additionally guys, special statutory provisions establish different loan limit calculations for Alaska, Hawaii, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. So in these areas, the baseline loan limit will be $822,375 for single unit properties. So with these changes scheduled to take effect in 2021, it is estimated that these increases in the baseline loan limit and the ceiling loan limit will drive the maximum 2021 conforming loan limits higher in all about 18 counties equivalent in the United States. Again, this is a positive thing, especially for those who live in more expensive real estate markets because it recognizes the upward trend of real estate in these markets and it allows greater access for potential new homeowners. All right, guys, that is your update on the conforming loan limits for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac for 2021. If you found value in the video, please be sure to tap that like button and share it with others on social media as it really helps to support and grow the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I'm posting valuable new content every week. Thanks again for watching and until next time.